farmhands, Farm Reef here. How's everybody doing today? So, switching things up a bit, we got a little bit of a product review that we're going to do today. Um, Vertex is nice something they sent me out. Uh, it's a Perica uh, from Vertex. It's an RO uh, system here. This one's here, uh, 200 gallons per day, and um, it's a really nice system. And what we want to do is, I want to. Uh, we're gonna learn a little bit about it. We're gonna put it all together and do the install so we can start making some water for all the tanks. And uh, if everybody knows, it's when you have a reef tank, it's like it's almost a must to always have an RO system because there's so much uh, contaminants in the water. It depends on where you live. Um, my old place was on the farm, so it's from a well. There was always like a lot of rust in there, and you could really see that uh, rust being pulled out by uh, the system through all the filters. So then when you get into a different place to say in the city or on city water, you got chlorine, all different kinds of stuff that you don't know what's going to be in that uh, water. And it's very, you know, make sure and always uh, filter that out. So a lot of the times people get a lot of algae problems, a lot of blooms, a cyano, all that kind of stuff because it's feeding off all the different kinds of, you know, the minerals or anything that's in the water. And um, if you really want to have that successful reef tank, definitely go out and get yourself an RO system. And so I'm going to show you this one today. This is the Vertex system. And uh, thanks guys for sending this out. Um, so we're going to do a little open box, check what's in here. We're going to put it all together and then we're going to install it on the wall, get it uh, into place where we can start making some water and uh, get the tanks all filled up guys. So let's go ahead, let's open box this, see if everything's in here. Then we'll get everything all placed out on the table and we'll start assembling it all. All right guys, so we got the box here, so let's open it up, see what's all inside. It's really well packaged I can say. So we're going through here, we've got a couple boxes, a little bit of styrofoam. So as we're looking, you see we got all the all the filters and we got all the components to put it all together. So it comes in a few different pieces that we're gonna have to set up here. But uh let's keep digging. So we got a bunch of the right here. This looks like um, a couple membranes for it. Membranes are usually the most important because they really polish the water before it ends up going out. And then here's a couple of the cartridges you can see, and there's a couple. This is the pre-filter, the PP05, and this one's the PP.5 micron filter. And uh, there's part of the, the casing for it. And then we got the next one. This one's here. This is the black carbon. And what else we got? What's this one here? All right, this one's got. This is the resin uh, DI. So this one here is really gonna polish your water and take out any like silica or anything that's in your water. And this will start to change. All these little beads is probably gonna turn into like a really dark color. As you can see, this is a fresh supply. So that's awesome. And we're getting down in here to the unit itself. There's some of foam out of here. Really well packaged, I can say. What I like about this one, it comes with its own booster too booster pump so say you don't have enough uh, water pressure in your home you say you live in the country it'll boost it up so you can have the right pressure it needs to make this system work like it's supposed to so let's pull this right out let's see if there's anything left in here there's nothing left in here guys but you can see it's really well packaged so let's put that to the side so the system itself is awesome look at the size of here so let's take it out of the package What I like about it too, it's got like the, I'll show you, it's got the digital control on it. it shows you your water source, producing water, flush function, the reservoir is full. Look at that, sweet. I'll turn around so you guys can actually check it out. Look at that, so it comes with everything guys. You got your pressure, how much pressure you're going through your system. Look at that, it's got a nice uh, booster pump in there, it looks really well made. Um, what else we got here? So this is what I'm talking about, it's got a display. It's got the TDS uh, valve and the PP. I'm going in, in the reserve and flush, and the water and water source. And then what I like here, I don't know if you guys can check that out. If you see right here, it's got a little spot. So this is say your water going in or water going in. This is your TDS. This is what you're producing. And you can see like uh, how much PPM, and hopefully everything's reading zero by the time it comes out through the system. And then this valve going in here, this little insert, this is the source. So they. What's awesome is they actually put stickers on so it doesn't confuse anybody. So the source going in and what you produce going for, this is gonna be for your reef tank, guys. So it looks like, I don't know, might have to put the put the membranes in here. That's what's in this bag, these two membranes. It sounds like they're empty, so I'll have to put those in. But if you look, it's got a very nice um, mounting bracket for on your wall, steel. 
look at that. You just plug it in and you're good to go. So that's what's inside the box, guys. So it's got the comes with the booster pump. My other, I had a couple other systems too. I bought one from uh, Bulk Reef Supply, and uh, it didn't have a booster pump. You'd have to buy it separately. But I like this one how they integrated every component onto just this this bracket. You know what I mean? So that's what I really like about this. And I can't wait to start, uh, you know, filling up the tanks to get the water producing on here. It's gonna be awesome, guys. So that was looks like in the bag. So what else we got here? So a couple of like the mounting gear. So what we need to use to hook it to the main uh, supply of water in the house. Farmhand. So this looks like a really easy system to do. Um, all we have to do is get all our filters and everything placed on the bottom of the holders. And what I like what the what Vortex has done here, they've uh, labeled everything as well. So you got your pre-filter, your carbon, and your DI resin. Your DI resin is always your last one because it's going to polish out any impurities out of that water. So. And I like that it's got some really, it's really, really nice built uh, system here. It's really, really solid. So we got to get a whole bunch of stuff all unpacked, figure out how we're going to hook it up to uh, the main house uh, water. And then we can start uh, getting some water made, get some salt mixed up, and then get those into the tanks. All right, guys, so uh, let's go head down uh, to the furnace room and let's try installing this baby. So we're down here in the furnace room. I got a wall over there. I've got enough room we can place it. I got the screws, got everything all measured out. That's where we're going to mount it. Get everything all plumbed up, get the filters on there, and uh, we're gonna learn a little bit more information about what this unit can do and uh, how you can not have any floods with this one. It's really uh, pretty much foolproof. So let's go over here, let's get that installed. <clears throat> all right, guys, it's pretty simple. There's two screw holes here on the back. Just measure it all out, put a level on it, and we just go like this and we just slide it into place. Just like that, pretty easy. I got everything all leveled up. I just put a level on it before. You can do it again if you want. So what works awesome here, guys, the thing I like about this system as well, when you're filling your RO, your brew container, um, you can put a little float in there. What that float will do, as soon as there's enough back pressure coming through that float, it'll go up through the lines. It'll tell this computer to stop uh, producing RO water. There's a solenoid in the back and uh, it has enough, it can adjust enough pressure to shut that system down so you won't have floods in your uh, down in your basement or wherever you're making your water. So that's one thing that's awesome guys, so that's the savings as well. You don't have to go and buy another uh, solenoid, you can buy them separately when you want to do your RO. So this one's it's built right into the system. A couple other good features as well. So with this computer, what it does, as soon as say that, that uh, the brew gets filled up, filled, and it's full of water, it'll actually do a back flush right away and clean out your system. Because when you have all these filters or membranes when they're like 100 bucks or whatever, you want to make sure make sure they last as long as possible. So that back flush cleans out the whole system. And I'm not sure how many gallons it does until it cleans it, but I know if you clean after, it'll clean it out right away and periodically uh, clean it as well. So that's one good thing about that. So that'll be your reservoir full, that light will come on. It'll turn green whenever it's good to go, and then the flush will turn uh, like an orangey yellow, letting you know when it's flushing the system. So that's pretty awesome, guys. And what I like about this, like I said, it's got the booster pump built in. Like that alone, when I have my other system, it cost me like almost $100 to uh, install it. Plus, you're always installing on the wall, and it doesn't look as nice and sleek as this system. So that definitely, that valve is definitely one that I really enjoy, because I don't want any floods at all. So I'll definitely uh, check that out, guys. So let's keep moving here. Um, so we got to mount it on the wall. We have to open up all the packaging and get each of these put into place. Oh. So it's pretty easy. What I like, it's got the DI, it's got the carbon, and it's got the pre-filter. So if you look here, it says pre-filter. It's pretty foolproof. So you can just take all the packaging all apart. Just like that. Make sure it's all clean. Everything's all cleaned out. Like that. So there's your, uh, your pre-filter. And you just put that in. You're just gonna line it up on the inside, and just screw that on. It comes with like a, it comes with a wrench, so you can just wrench that right on. Make sure it's nice and tight. It's got a nice seal on it. So there's our one, one down. Get my other ones here. So our next one, it says carbon. So let's put our carbon in. One thing with carbon is good. You know, it takes all the smells out of your water and everything else. Same thing again, just get everything out of the package. Make sure everything's all cleaned out. Good to go. So you can put that one as well to make sure there's no uh, which way is different on this one. Put that one into place. Make sure everything's sealed up. Make sure there's nothing on the inside of there. 
and then just screw that one in. So this is your in going out, and then this is your out, back, and then to your DI, so that's your polisher, that'll clean that right up. If you guys aren't using any DI resin, I suggest you should, you'll see a big difference. So one more to go, guys. All right, guys, so the last one we have to do is our DI resin. Same thing. Everything all cleaned up here. But if you guys are just starting out in the reefing, make sure and go get yourself one of these. You see a lot of people on the forums and everything, and this one says new, this side up, so we'll put that in. They're always like, oh, why do I have all these algae problems? Why do I have all this cyano? What, like, all you're doing? Well, then you, it's usually the simplest one. Well, do you have an RO system? Is your wall, you know, what's your PPM coming in? What's your PPM going out? What's going into your tank? Whatever goes into your tank is usually the issue. So why not, if you're starting out right, you know, get yourself a nice system like this. So see how simple this is put together, guys? So now, like, in the other kits too, it comes with everything. Just like here, it comes with all the hosing. Here's the wrench, and here's the two uh, other filters, the membranes that go into the two top ones. So that's uh, for, that's the the Vertex system, guys. Very easy install, as you guys can see. Really took me six minutes, and we're good to go. So I'm gonna finish up this, uh, get everything all into place, get it all hooked up and uh, plugged in, start flushing the system, and start making some water. So that's uh, the Vertex, guys. Uh, I wanted to show you this new RO system. And um, we're going to have some updates coming up, how everything's going. We'll show you how everything functions as I get everything, the water moving and everything filled up. I can show you how this system works, you know, the reservoir full, the back flush, as soon as I get it all hooked up. So thanks for tuning this week, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, if there's anything else you guys want to see, just leave the links below, and we'll just keep moving forward. The other tanks will be showing up very soon. I can't wait to show you guys. So just make sure to leave your comments. I really appreciate it. So please subscribe and hit that like button.